Tomorrow is the North London Derby. Arsenal has gone ahead, obviously, take part into the last preps for the Spurs tie. And guess what? Arsenal is having a fully fit squad. And on your extreme, is it extreme right, left? Extreme left of your screen, you see Julian Timber has been part of the training sessions, geared up for this beautiful game of football. And it might be his return to Arsenal football. But I tell you, his return is really very, 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 very integral into what Arsenal is said to achieve this season. So much like button close to 400 times. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so as not miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Liverpool has gone ahead to drop points, guys. Liverpool, guys, has gone ahead to drop points. So I think they're really out of this, you know? They're really out of this title. I think they're out of the title race because if Arsenal wins tomorrow, right, they'll go to 80 points. And Liverpool is stuck on 75, meaning that Arsenal will be five points ahead of Liverpool. And for Liverpool, to see to it that Arsenal gets back, for Liverpool to go into, to get back in the title race, they need to pray it hard that Man City loses one and draws one. You get all loses two games. And that's what's supposed to be really praying in for. So that is really very, very hard that you pray to it that two teams obviously go ahead and really lose. <clears throat> you understand? So, in my understanding, I think they're out. They're out of this. You know? They're out of the title race and they're not going to come back. They are not going to come back as a side of Liverpool. Smash the like button and continue to subscribe. And Arsenal is playing this team tomorrow. And we thank God for the gift of life, the Muslims. Barak Lauf Hekum. And let's obviously get going into this. And let's start it off with what Ateta had to say about the North London Derby. Before we get into how the team went ahead to prepare for the North London Derby. Ateta on his North London derby preparations as a manager compared to when he was as a player because you know it that he has at us he was at Arsenal as a player until when Pep Guardiola told him please come join me and he did do the management job with me at Man City he said more motivation if anything because you know what you can give to people which is a lot of joy and happiness if we manage to win the game when you have the chance to do that and it's in your hands you really want to make the most of it to try and make it happen so that is what Ateta is talking about the North London Derby as a manager because he's now the one in control no one is really telling him that choose this kind of player all choose this he's the one in control to obviously make the choice of a player he wants obviously play in his club and that's what makes it interesting for him as a manager so he has gonna let us know that it's because of him that everything is gonna be okay and it's now in his control and he's motivated because he has now gone ahead to be there in two different capacities, as a player and as a manager. As a manager, he went ahead to obviously find himself really breaking that dreadlock that had gone ahead to happen in the last almost decade because I think Arsenal had last gone ahead to get a win there. Was it 2014? 2014? I think it was Santi Cazola and is it uh, Olivia Giroud that scored? And it had taken Arsenal years to get a lead sorry a win at the white hat lane all now called the tottenham Hotspur stadium you understand so he has gone ahead obviously put in a shift as a manager and i tell you they've gone ahead to do lots of things and he knows that last season he went ahead to beat them by two goals to nil and kudos to um kudos to the own goal of um Hugo Lloris and that cross because of that cross that was brought in by saka and Hugo Lloris netted in his own goal and then Odegaard pulled the trigger and guess what happened it went into the back of the net now Ateta on having players who know about the hostile atmosphere obviously he had to obviously talk about the atmosphere there because you all know how hostile a derby is that most of the derby is totally different from these other usual games and it brings in new 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 vibes and he said, I think it's an unbelievable atmosphere. It's a beautiful stadium. We've played there a few times already, and it's a great atmosphere to play football in. We know about the rivalry, but I think you have to put that aside. You have to leave the game with the intensity and passion that it demands. On top of that, we know what we are playing for. So I don't think we have anything special because the game has got everything that you need as a player to go and enjoy it. Talking about players who know what the Northern Under is all about, you know, if you have to look at the lineup that we played in the Northern Derby last season, I think the only player that is out is um, is um, um, who was really instrumental 
is Xhaka, but the rest of the players have been here. I think you talk about Raya, Rice, and Kai Havertz, who I, I believe all are going to start in this game of football. But if I told you having a spine of Ben White, Saliba, Gabriel Magales, <coughs> Tommy Yasu, Thomas Partey, um, Odegaard, Saka, bring Martinelli, bring Trossard, whoever you bring, you know, Jesus, they are there, meaning that the huge spine of the team that was there while taking a win know exactly what happened at the stadium and I don't expect us not to obviously shrink and be afraid about that atmosphere because they know they're a better side and they went ahead last season when they never had these players that they brought in in the summer, Julian Timba, uh, Raya, Rice and Havertz and they went ahead and really won. You get? So I don't find it hard for them to win this game of football. I know they're gonna go there and really win. And that is it. It's really a hard decision to make and a hard prediction to make, but I see Arsenal winning this beautiful game of football. And lastly, before we go into how Arsenal are here to prepare for this beautiful game of football that's going to be played tomorrow at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, he was asked on whether Ange Postecoglou will tweak his tactics against Arsenal. He said, I don't know what they will do. They haven't changed much and have been very consistent. I think that's probably be, been the best strength in what they've done. So we have to be prepared in games. Things can change and you have to be able to tweak things if necessary. That's what Ateta had to say. That you need to tweak things if necessary. So, obviously you cannot come out and really say that he's going to change his tactics. When has he ever? That is a big question because I've never gone ahead to see him change his tactics. He doesn't tweak his tactics. We all know that. He's a manager who dies on his tactics, you know. He plays a high press and he wants to possess the ball and I don't see him change his tactics. And all I know is that in the form in which Martin Odegaard is in, if he goes that one, doesn't tweak his tactics, he's done and dusted. I tell you, he's done. He's done because Arsenal are really having pace merchants and if they put a double pivot, if they play that double pivot of Partey and Rice, I tell you what, you'll tell me at the end of the game. We are going to be here tomorrow, not so. We are going to be here and we'll be really waiting to see how things really pan out in the hugest moment of time possible. Let's go to what happened at the Soboha Reality Training Center ahead of this game of football. Now, Emily Smith-Rowe, Rhys Nelson, Saka, Kivio, Saliba, obviously walking onto the green grass to take the mantle and really train. This is Gabriel Magales, one of the best left side center backs in the Premier League this season. Obviously getting ready for a game like that. Ateta issuing instructions to his players of Arsenal on what they're supposed to be doing into the kind of game like this. Then uh, we are having Julian Timba looking along because he was promised to us by the manager that they have to do what we call the last assessment before they put him into the squad that's going to play against Tottenham Hotspur. And it looks like he's going to hate to take all the boxes as you see. And he's highly anticipated to be into the team of Arsenal that is going to be taking on a side called a side called Tottenham Hotspur because Arsenal under 21s right uh they are playing tomorrow so we wait to see whether he's gonna be in the arsenal under 21 side or he's gonna be part of this arsenal side that is gonna be kicking the game or playing the ball tomorrow we wait for that and see how things are really gonna really get us the best results in there for this team now <clears throat> that is uh, Julian Timba in action alongside Benjamin White as uh, Cedric Soares looks on. Then Jesus obviously just throwing that ball with Edin Ketia. And Leandro Trossard also trying to pile more pressure behind Edin Ketia. But Edin Ketia, I tell you what, he's nowhere in here to get into this team. Then Zinchenko and El Nini obviously doing the needful into the training session. Then this is Kai Havertz and Declan Rice, you know running 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 and making those runs to obviously also it out kai havertz is in the form of his life 11 goals and if you ask me on whether i can bet on this player really scoring a goal tonight sorry tomorrow i tell you kai havertz is gonna score 
he's gonna score because he's really in elite form and with those spaces that spurs really leave i tell you he can really cause havoc and with uh, christian romero being um with christian romero being uh, an erratic player though he's really good but he's an erratic player i tell you they can capitalize onto that declan rice and Partey having a tussle together during this last last team training session at the Soma Reality Training Center as they prepared for the side of Tottenham Hotspur. Then we are having, obviously, this is Fabio Vieira trying to pull the jersey of the training heat of Thomas Partey. Man strong, man firm, man good at the ball, man ready for spurs. And I tell you, I'll be shocked if at all Thomas Partey doesn't start as the CDM into that game of Tottenham Hotspur. Then, Julian Timber, uh, Gabriel Magales, obviously looking on into that mix and obviously Ateta issuing some instructions to Jorginho a player that I believe is not gonna start but will be very pivotal in that game because him coming in through in the dying minutes will give us what we call composure and a little bit of control of the game because I don't trust Pate to give in what we call um, relentless 90 minutes at half an hour I think Tomatisi Party's game will be done and then Jorginho will be called upon to continue doing the needful. This is uh, El Nini, obviously celebrating, was like was in goal, waiting for a shot to come in from a fellow comrade. Rice was like warning him, I can shoot at you and you'll feel the music in the mix. Then Saliba, obviously shrugging his hands, like in question, then we're having Saliba into the mix, also holding that ball. I think this is Edu Suarez alongside him. Then El, you see Rice going toe to toe to tackle the ball with um, with a timber, and it shows you that his leg is really right because you see it that this is the leg that was really was really this was the leg that was really um, that took a surgery, right? Yeah, this was the leg that took a surgery, and this is the position that was really. Um, exposed to a surgery and it resulted into being healed and is back to obviously do the needful what a way to tackle it out together and then this is the winning team i think of the day el nini cedric soares fabio Vieira, martinelli and edinketia celebrating in there for you then another team celebrating rice timba kivio and emily smith rowe into the mix then we have another one that went ahead obviously win the day overall winners of the day timba trossard um jesus smith rowey rest nelson jakub kivio and declan rice so that is what went down at the sober reality training center as arsenal geared up for the game of spurs i tell you if arsenal win the game of spurs they would have gone ahead to pile more pressure to Man City. Go ahead, win your game, and let Man City do their job. That's what Arsenal is supposed to be doing tonight. So, thank you guys for watching through. Rock and David is my name. I sign out for now. See you later, and I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And may the living to God bless you abundantly. And I call upon for your reactions or comment section below on how Arsenal final preparation i'm going to hit to find you and all the statements of michaela teta that i've going to hit to come in here and really quote as far as his side is concerned when it comes to playing the side of tottenham hotspur and i have a video of Ange potsakegula that i'm going to record on what he said towards this fixture as no fans you better get worried because he's like we can't stop Arsenal from winning the trophy. Those are the words of Ange Potekeglu. And this is the best game that you'll ever want to see happen for the side of Spurs and fail Arsenal to get three points. Because Everton in the Merseyside derby went ahead to do it and stopped Liverpool. Now, will this side of Tottenham Hotspur stop Arsenal tomorrow? It's what we are waiting in for. I'm out. See you later. More videos are really coming in through thick and fast.